Ooh, there's a laker right there. There's a laker right there. Come on. Oh, I missed it, guys. Messing with the camera. Oh. You little bugger. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's go out in the garage. And let's do some talking. So you guys want a more of like a vlog style of my videos. So this weekend, Saturday into Sunday, I'm spending like 30 hours on the lake. We're sleeping on Lake Winnipesaukee with my buddy. I'm gonna show you guys like how long it takes me to get ready. Um, since I work a full-time job, it's literally a little bit every night, all week, and then a lot on Friday night. And our plan is to get there first thing in the morning, in the dark, on Saturday, fish all day Saturday, into Sunday, but a lot of stuff went wrong last weekend, so I had to, I got to fix all that stuff. I got to dump all my memory cards, edit a video this week, get that released for Sunday, and do a couple other videos. So I'll, let me show you the garage first. So Snow Dog tried to kill itself, which I'm currently fixing. I have to get a spare belt. Um, I had to replace the clutch. I have to do an oil change. So I spent all day getting all those parts, driving around town during the snow day. Um, I got to fix that because that broke this weekend. I gotta get all my stuff ready for Winnipesaukee, which is a lot less raws than that. Um, I gotta, I think I might change this sled to my primary tow sled for the snow dog. And I just bought a cot last week or beginning of this week to sleep on the ice. I gotta get my sleeping pad, my snow, my sleeping pad, the cot that I haven't even opened yet. Gotta get that figured out and set up in the house and then figure out how to collapse it. And I have to rig up one of my boat batteries, which you guys can see over there. I have these uh, Alpha, that came with my boat that I bought this summer, Alpha Deep Cycle size 31 or 27, depending on who you're asking. Um, glass mat batteries that you can basically tip over and they won't spill, they don't, you know, they're sealed batteries. Rig one of those up to run all the lights in the shanty, uh, lights, and hummingbird and the aqua view so i'm gonna have everything running all night uh, we gotta bring heat and propane and there's gonna be snow on the ice so i gotta get the snow dog ready for the deeper snow all that kind of stuff get all that ready and so let's get on to the driving part uh, i've got all done packing this week lily took me all week truck is packed to the gills. I got even got even got stuff in the kids car seat in the back. I got rods in the car seat just cuz you know they won't get broken there hopefully. Uh, snow dogs on the back. Got two sleds, shanty, propane, heater. I got uh, probably a dozen and a half of shiners for cusk and then I got another two dozen smelt for lakers and rainbows or whatever we wanted to catch. So, here's to uh, the first overnight on the ice for the season coming up right now so we're gonna set up really shallow we're in like less than 20 feet of water i'm gonna get uh drill a bunch of holes put you guys on the tripod uh get the camera down and see if we can jig for some early morning lake trout to, uh, it's probably 7 30 at this point i uh, got a late start got the snow dog stuck in some slush but here's here's gonna be base camp in relatively in this area um yeah we got, I got stuff literally everywhere. I got car batteries. I got car batteries and my pop-up and my big pop-up and camping gear and fishing gear and let me get everything set up and uh, let's go. One last trip, forgot my rods. basically waiting for fish to come by. I've already seen a couple fish show up on sonar. And just like last year, these fish are completely glued right to the 
right to the ground or right to the bottom of the lake so that the bottom actually will rise up on a sonar and you won't unless you're fully paying attention you won't see that at all uh, which is kind of cool kind of irritating at the same time I don't have any chum down there right now but I'm going to in a minute and I'm gonna make some noise down there in a second stir up the bottom just thought I'd have a little tiny buckshot spoon you know what see if I can start a chase but that's what I'm using if you guys can see that focus on that little buckshot spoon and it's still below freezing it's supposed to warm up today Ooh, there's a laker right there. There's a laker right there. Come on. Oh, I missed it, guys. Messing with the camera. Oh. You little bugger. Wish he had stayed around for a couple more seconds. That would have been nice. Just missed my first... Laker of the morning. Well, probably third, actually. I've seen a couple on the, on the flasher. Let's go for a ride. So we're just trying a different spot, a little more out in the bay. 30, 37 feet or so. Doesn't appear to be anything, so we reel up. As we're reeling up, we always check the sonar to make sure nothing chased the bait all the way. Put that in. Start up the snow dog. And we go. We got plenty of ice. That could be a that could be a fish. Ooh, that was a Laker. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, that was a Laker, guys. Hundred percent. That's a lot of shit, man. <laughs> that looks heavy. <laughs> crazy bad. It looks crazy bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just missed a bite while I was texting you. I just like lifted it up and it was stuck. All right, quick update guys. It is one o'clock probably. One o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I have seen and had lots of chases today. Lake trout, but no, no success yet. I had one bite I think, or I got stuck in the ice. I'm not sure why I was texting Seth. But Seth just arrived with even more stuff. So he's got a lot of stuff. We're about to set up his his shanty before the wind starts to pick up even more. And then we'll be golden. Oh, I got a laker at the bottom. I got a laker right here, Seth. Oh, he's... Did he get stubbed yet? He swam right past it, man. And of course, it wasn't recording on the other recording device. Guys, there's a laker. There's a laker down there. Going outside. 
She's still down over there, bud. in an exterior pocket, so I think it's... Oh! Oh, my rod's going on, my rod's going on, where are we going? You told me to shut the door. Bring the camera. Bring what? The camera. Which camera? The one that's right off. Oh, what the fuck? How am I supposed to take it? Bring it! I'll take the whole thing! I didn't know how to take it off the tripod. No, no, just, yeah, the whole thing's fine. It's gonna have to be. Yeah, like <laughs> Not ready yet. Oops. It made it crooked. Just pointed at me. I am pointing at you. Finally, finally caught a lake. Fortunately, not on camera, but. Long arm it. Do not couple Owens. How are you? He's cold. All right. Going back down. Yes! First laker of the day. Awesome, guys. Sorry about the wind noise. Four more this way, Josh, and then we'll do four that way. Sure. How far are we Um. I don't know, like 20, 20 paces or something like that? We weren't far last time. But we knew where they were. So we're setting up cuss traps. We're setting up cuss traps in a place that we saw people catching cuss last year when we got here early in the morning. So we're kind of shooting in the dark and it's uh, middle of February. So they should be in spawning mode. What is still happening? Uh, so we're, we're currently in the dark. It's 5.30 and uh, we just set out cuss lines and we just uh, got my bedroom set up for the night. Second time ever sleeping on the ice, which is gonna be cool. Got the aqua view set up, which I might turn off and we are loaded on the screen with smelt right now. So hopefully there's some lake trout or cusk or something around this time of night and hopefully we can catch them and be golden um so we're gonna seth had to go back to his truck real quick he's gonna get something with a snow dog come back and then uh we're probably gonna cook some dinner here in a minute <laughs> Seth is on. I lost him. Did you? No, no, you still got him. Let me put it on my pile, dude. Yeah, good. Something's on my pile. Whoa. Yeah, that'll be nice to you. Feels like a cusk? I don't know. I don't think so. It's biting pretty good. Yeah, thank you. How much line did you take? I'll get away from all that. No, 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 don't go that way. Don't go that way. You're good, right? Yeah, I just don't want to go that way. It's going towards your tent. Yeah, get it. if it wants to go, it wants to go, though. I can pull up the camera over there. Nice Laker, dude. Nice Laker. I don't have a, I don't have my, um... Just keep, just 
Let him run for a second. Yeah. You're gonna go get your hook. You got your thing on you? That's about the same. We're good. Nice clean looking fish. Inhaled it or what? Got the release. Nice dude. Good thing we heard that. <laughs> Alright guys, so you see see us in the truck. Obviously this is dark. Um but we are driving to go get gas because I didn't bring gas because I've never used a snow dog enough to use that much gas. So I did today. Hopefully this Sunoco station's open. We're gonna top it off and then next time I will bring gas. Um, which is just another thing I gotta bring. <laughs> Most of the gas stations I go to don't have the chip thing yet. No, but I'm gonna say the uh, Oh, the zip, the zip code yet. It's three bucks. <laughs> what do you think? How many gallons do you think it's gonna take? I think you're gonna be just shy of three dollars. Tank? I have no idea. Hey, you're gonna find out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> making empty now. Oh yeah. It's 10:30 right now, and we're we're tired. We want to go to bed. Um, haven't seen any fish action at all. I've been up since four o'clock this morning with only one cup of coffee. So that was my own fault. But I got the uh, Kelty sleeping bag, the pad, the cot, using the pillow as my jacket. And uh, running the heater probably on high all night with the carbon monoxide detector. Set this in the tent next to me. I have one dead stick here and then I have a jaw jacker. Both on bells and since I'm a new dad, I'm a pretty light sleeper. And anything that goes, any make any noise, I'll probably wake up and go get it. So, see you guys in the morning if there's no fish tonight. Well, good morning, everybody. It is uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. We had no fish go off last night. No nothing happening. Uh, that's all right. I slept like a champ in my little cot. Seth ended up getting out of his chair and sleeping on his floor. He's, like I said, he's beside me. What a toothpaste stole on my face because I don't have a mirror or nothing. But I actually slept pretty good uh, until Seth's alarm went off on whatever time. But half an hour ago so we're gonna get uh i'm gonna start packing up a little bit of stuff and then we're gonna go check our jaw jackers and stuff like that make sure they're all set and then uh, get ready for the morning bite which we slept through part of it but that's okay we were both exhausted so stay tuned it's fish All right, Seth's on. Coming over with the camera. Nice Laker. You got my pliers. They got stuck in a hole. You stop swearing. Get him in. Take all day. <laughs> Damn. It's like, how do I get out of this thing? Oh, I got a lake trout down there eating chum. Really? Yep, but he's ignoring my smell. Hmm. Arr. Yeah, chum. I'm gonna put on a Sanko right now. I'm gonna put on a rubber worm. I'm gonna let my uh, my swelts, my smelts swim in the bottom of my uh, my puddle inside my shack. <laughs> That's gonna get hooked up. Watch. You watch. Um, he's off camera now, and I'm not sure where he is. 
He's going northeast, whatever direction that is. Yeah, you want my other camera? Oh, crap. You got him? Oh, he's running. You got him? He's, he's probably the same size as the other one. We're the same one. I got my shiner right on the paint pile. I think I do. I don't know. Let me get a good video of that. Well, dumping my battery down the hole. Dude, that's sweet. That's a fat one. It's because he's freaking. Look at all, all his air bubbles. See, he is. He is. I told you he looks funky. Show him up to the... Look at the back on that, guys. He's all crooked. Chisel it. Thank you. Pulling? Uh, it could be. could be something on there. Oh, yeah, there's something on there, all right? Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 it's pulling. Can you uh aim the camera here? That could be a lake trout, dude. This could be a lake trout, guys. Or a very big cusk, like really big cusk. Um It's a lake trout on a cuss line, completely wrapped himself up. Get the release. Yep. Uh, I'll count them. Oh, never mind, I'll count them. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys, we're... Uh, Seth is still chiseling Day for luck. Seth is still chiseling. I gotta go pack up. So I've been making runs to the truck. Uh, base camp is an absolute disaster. And I'll put you guys away. Put you guys away in a couple minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep packing. Better the first time around. So the third time gonna be freaking pissed. Oh, third and overnight trip. All right, I'm gonna at least take the mic the mic off. Hope, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're probably going to do one more overnight trip and pack less stuff. I don't, I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to pack less stuff. You know how much crap he's got? <laughs> he's cut in half. Yeah, at least.